the sizes the benefits are the legs are strengthened blood circulation gets regulated in all parts of the abdomen this exercise is curative and preventive for sciatica and arthritis by pressing and massaging the sole and the toes important organs in the body such as heart lungs intestines and brain are activated sit on the mat stretching the legs sideways keep the feet 18 inches or 45 cm apart keep the hands behind on the sides bend the feet inward till the big toes touch the ground or to the extent possible then stretch the feet outward till the little toes touch the ground do this exercise 5 times in each direction by waving the feet inward and outward keep the feet 12 inches or 30 cm apart turn both the feet simultaneously towards the left so that the little toe of the left foot and the big toe of the right foot touch the floor do this exercise 5 times each side keep the feet one foot or 30 cm apart rotate the feet clockwise five times rotate the feet anti clockwise five times again rotate the feet clockwise five times foot reflexology keep the right foot on the left thigh using both the thumbs of hands press and massage the right foot in the following manner the other four fingers should rest on the outer foot to help apply the pressure evenly first massage your right toe with both the thumbs then massage the next two toes of the foot simultaneously with each thumb the right thumb should massage the second toe and the left thumb should massage the third toe similarly the last two toes should be massaged with both the thumbs then massage the sole of the foot starting from the region below the big toe to the small toe across the foot then come down a little and start from the region below the small toe and massage across the foot to the big toe like this massage the entire foot in a zigzag or criss cross manner no place in your foot should be left untouched you should massage with your thumbs only with the other four fingers of your hands resting on the upper side of your foot then apply the pressure gently on the arch the soft portion of your foot then apply the pressure on the heel then apply pressure by both the hands on the sides of the foot from top to bottom bottom to top and once again from top to bottom the thumbs should press on the inner edge and the other fingers should press on the outer edge of the foot press the parts around the ankle joint the thumbs should press on the inner side of the joint and the other four fingers should press on the outer side next place the right palm over the inner side of the ankle and the left palm on the outer side of the ankle massage the ankle simultaneously on the inner side and the outer side in clockwise direction massage like this for 3 times 
Next massage the ankle in anti-clockwise direction three times. Once again massage the ankle simultaneously in clockwise direction three times. Next hold the right leg at the ankle and the right palm and the toes by the left hand. Rotate the foot using the left hand clockwise with toes going downwards. Do this exercise five times. Rotate the foot anti-clockwise. The toes of the foot should go up. Do this exercise five times. Once again rotate the foot clockwise. Do this five times. Next apply the pressure with both the hands from ankle up to the knee. Keep in mind, do not press any point too much if you feel pain or tenderness while pressing or massaging that point. Now keep the left foot on the right thigh. Apply pressure on the left foot similar to the procedure we followed with the right foot. Sit in the kneeling or Vajrasana posture. Place the right big toe over the left big toe. Keep the heels apart and sit comfortably with bottom on the gap of the heels. Place the hands on the back, touching the spinal column and the two thumbs on the side. Slightly press the back from upper side to the lower side over the kidney region. Do this exercise five times.